Good morning, dear students. Well set for GSE studies. As you know, yesterday we were discussing about various types of components present in our food. Components which are also known as nutrients. We have already discussed about carbohydrates and proteins in detail. Today we will go through the remaining that is fats, vitamins, minerals and roughage. First of all, I am taking fats here like proteins fats are also made up of carbon hydrogen and oxygen but they contain less amount of oxygen than carbohydrates but provide more than the double of the energy as compared to same weight of carbohydrates how can we understand that let's take an example if one gram of carbohydrates give you 2 calories of energy then 1 gram of fats gives you 4 calories of energy. Now dear student I want to put forward a misbelief prevailing in the society every time that we should not eat fats means ghee and butter etc. Let me clear you one thing. There are 4 vitamins named A, D, E and K. And these vitamins can only be absorbed within our body if we are taking fats. Means these are fat soluble vitamins. Initially they mix up with fat and then are absorbed in our body. So fat should always be included in our diet. If, you, if we want to uh, absorb these vitamins in, in our body then fats are necessary to it so that they can be absorbed within our body let's take the sources of fats we have already seen uh, nuts milk ghee butter etc now plants as well as animals both are the sources of fats for us mustard oil groundnut oil coconut oil and nuts are the items we get from plants. Milk and milk products such as butter, ghee, meat, fish, eggs are also the items we get from animals. In this way we can conclude that sources of fats for us are both plants and animals. Here this is all about the fats. Now come to Vitamins. These are the nutrients responsible for maintaining good health and proper growth. They are also required in very small quantities. Remember dear student, they do not provide us energy. They are required only for biochemical reactions taking place within our body. Plants are the main sources of vitamins as you are watching here in the picture and are found in all types of fresh foods. During cooking of food some of the vitamins gets destroyed. These vitamins are helpful to keep our eyes, gums, bones, teeth healthy. If not taken in proper amount we may suffer from deficiency diseases. Various types of vitamins are present in our food dear students. These are vitamin A, B, C, D, E and K. These vitamins can be grouped into two categories on the basis of their solubility. Four vitamins named A, D, E and K are soluble in fat whereas vitamin B and C are soluble in water. What is the meaning? Let's explain you. A, D, E and K are the vitamin that initially mix themselves in the fat present in our body and then are absorbed there. And if they are taken in excess every day, they are deposited there under our skin. But vitamin B and C are water soluble vitamins and if they are taken in much amount, they are released through urine from our body so we must take these vitamins every day here you can see the sources of vitamins all the fresh fruits are rich of vitamins there here 
Indian gooseberry means amla is the richest source of vitamin C. So you must include this vitamin every day in your diet. Here, this is our next topic, minerals, means next nutrient or component of food. During fifth class, we have studied that our bones and teeth are made up of calcium and phosphorus. What are these calcium and phosphorus, dear students? Actually, these are the name of the two minerals responsible for making of teeth and bones of our body and are present in our food. We will discuss broadly them later. Which food item we get particular type of minerals. But for now, add to your knowledge that sodium, potassium, magnesium, iron, manganese, copper, chloride, iodine, sulfur are some of the nutrient that are required for our body. We will discuss later. They are also required in less amount and are very much necessary for proper growth and health. Now, we are taking the next component of our food that is roughage. This is the nutrient dear student which does not have any nutritive value. Then for what purpose? This is the equally important food item to be taken every day. Let me clear you. Green vegetables, fruits, whole grains contain large amount of dietary fibers. Means eatable fibers. They contain large amount of cellulose. What is cellulose? Cellulose is the most complex carbohydrate that cannot be digested by our body. So dietary fibers present in our food, especially in salads, are used as like a broom. Broom means jhadu, to clean up our intestine. This act of cleaning is known as bowel movement. And due to this action, we prevent constipation. What is constipation, dear student? When a person is unable to remove the waste material from his body, that situation is known as constipation. I am putting forward an example before you. If a child is eating the substances which are the food items which are made up of maida, fine flour, and biscuits etc then these substances food items stick on the intestine of child's within child's body so to clean up all these these roughage are used there if you want to keep yourself healthy keep taking